there, Tinkers! Back to Tinkerbot here, and welcome to a brand new stream! It's not just a stream, it's my 300th video stream! Now, something very interesting came out yesterday. It's a brand new Sonic game. Well, technically not an official real Sonic game, it kind of is, but I think it's kind of a spin-off game. It's called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I'm pretty sure this is like a murder mystery game where you gotta figure out basically who whacked off the main person. Now, I've heard of those kinds of games, but I've never really played them before. My cool people, this is cool Amy here, and I want to know who did kill Sonic. Yeah, that's a very good question. Was it you, or was it Shadow, or Knuckles, or Rouge, or Vector, or Blaze, or Estio? Who killed Sonic? He's my friend. They're all technically your friends. Hmm, it's a mystery to solve. Trying to play with our mind. I know, right? I like your mm -hmm. outfits, though. All the characters have different outfits on, and it looks so cool. Yeah, it looks so cool. Is that a cake on your head? And I, yes, and I don't, and I don't know why I have a cake on my head. So, huh? Must be some kind of celebration or something. I don't know. I guess, I guess, maybe? I guess we're gonna find out when we play the game. So, uh, like I said, this is a click and point and detective game. Which I've never played before, so I'm kinda new to this. Yeah, me too. Alright, but hey, it's April 1st, April Fools, so let's celebrate by playing this game. Here we go. Let's go! Oh. We play in this character in this game, I guess. Yep. I'm just gonna call him Beck. Give him my name. Why not? Beck, did I spell that right? Yes. Slow passengers can read my scribble. Oh dear. Well, he probably can't write properly, but oh well. It's fine. Dining car. But dining car. Oh, oh, I am nervous. Is this first day on the job jitters? Oh, buddy. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Beck, share it off. Shake it off, sorry. Did I say share? I meant shake. Come on, shake it off. Ow, someone slapped me. Oops, almost get Doctor. Doctor. A bit of sweet. Alright. We have an option choice here. Which is, uh, is everything alright? Or is That's that because we're sweetie? Uh, I guess I'm gonna go this one. Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as 
doctor. I'm retiring after 15 wonderful years. Wow, that's a long time. Well, it is a long time. Time for me and my... Oh, time for me and the Mirage, Mirage. to say goodbye to one another. Okay, okay, so the name, name of the train. The train is the Mirage Express. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Check on it. Sonic favorite food is definitely chili dog. Yeah, with no tacos though. Sonic likes tacos too, remember? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> But it's okay. So, I'm sure a little bit of ways is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining cart? Crab, wrangled, spicy, grilled, picky, and our chicken cotton blue. Uh, you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> I know about the vessel. This is a state of the archives, big smart train, and all the latest gadgets. Oh, oh gadgets! This, this train can really handle anything you throw at it. Sounds like a marvelous train. That's so. We had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. It's not easy. Uh, after 32 years, I don't blame him for being West Wistful. Wistful. Mm -hmm. Aww. This, this train is extremely used for events. It's not a passenger train. Oh, it's a party train that you can ride out, I guess. Oh. I guess so. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? Murder mystery party. Nothing better than self thrill to end my tenure as conductor. Murder mystery party. Oh, murder mystery party. Hmm. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. Everything in your power to make sure our being guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Glad this old man can rest easy. Okay. <laughs> Door to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Like a train for do parties and stuff only, I guess. Yeah. I was gonna say, if this is gonna be a real murder mystery, ugh. Oh, 
Oh boy, it's gonna. <laughs> Victor, you're right, Tails. I can see you just stay in the train like this. Oh, boy. What do you expect? You know, I always go out of my birthday parties. Also, it's a birthday party. Oh, are you the birthday party? Oh, it's rude. Mm, I guess so. This train is elegant as you are in. I promise I won't take anything, though. Uh, you better course. not take anything, Rude. Yep. Mm-hmm. He sure does. Oh, lucky! Ooh! So you say come down there, Rouge. Didn't I just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Oh, now she started. It was a pen, Knucklehead. You're gonna miss a tiny, teeny tiny pen. <laughs> I think oh, somebody's gonna miss a pen. Guess not. Get a hold of yourself, Beth. You're sweating through your uniform. Oh dear. Oh, it's Sonic! Oh, hey there, Sonic. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those shitty dogs? Of course. First thing you want is a uh, jelly dog. Of course. Yep. Can I resist the kitty dog? Of course, sir. Right away, sir. Here you go. Oh. Are you a pirate? Until I announce everyone rolls to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that, good girl. Oh, I guess it yeah. is your birthday. Woo! They party for me! Yay! I'll be coming around to collect everyone's ticket. Please have them out and ready. Join me back, won't you? Just click on whoever you like to talk. With and we collect their tickets. Okay, got it. Okay, you got this. So now we so can, uh, to click yours. Okay. Yes. Looks like we got hmm. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Espio, Vector. No Charmy though. No, I wonder Charmy. And I there's guess they Shadow. Don't allow kids on this party, on this train. It's disappointing that Cream and Charmy yeah, aren't here. It's no. Amy's birthday, so you think they would invite Kareem and Charmy as well? Yeah, it's my birthday. They should be coming. Huh. Sega, why don't you in why don't you include them? I don't know. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's Amy's birthday. Everybody should be here. And that includes Charmy. Yeah, it's Charmy my birthday. Green. It's my birthday. They should be here. Yeah, Kareem's your best friend. Yes, she is. Shadow here. Oh my, boy. My adopted it doesn't male counterpart. He does not look no. happy to be here as usual. No, he doesn't. I think we should not to be here, I think. <laughs> I, like I think he's not into this game. <laughs> but I think he's not I think he's not into this type of game though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look how elegant Princess Blaze is. Well, Blaze always look elegant. I mean she is a princess after all. Dressed all uh, cool. Yep. <laughs> What's this arm coming out of the ceiling here? Is that a robot arm? Uh, I guess I just is serving an arm. I'm gonna click on that. Appetite or something? Don't mind if I do. Back. Those are for our guests, you know. The train. Be sure Beck only gets one of those if they ask. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, did the arm just kind of nod? I guess so. Wow, that's so cool. This train has a robotic system built into it. I'd really like to know who invented this train. I think it's pretty cool. 
hijo. Everyone's your ticket, I guess. Eventually, and you did. That's what Sonic does. Spin and stop Eggman. Yep, he sure does. I wonder why Eggman and them aren't invited to the party. Well, I can probably tell uh, why. They're villains. I definitely like won't invite Eggman. You ruined my yeah. party. When do they invite Eggman to parties? To ruin it? Yeah. Or maybe just capture mm. everyone and turn them all into robots. I guess like always. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, yes. Uh, have fun. You too. Thanks. Oh my god. Your character's gonna nervous to me, Sonic. Yeah, he is kind of <laughs> nervous. I mean, that's the world-famous hero. Yeah, I'd be nervous, too. Yep. I mean, oh. I've met Sonic before. <laughs> Not on oh, camera, though. Oh, you did. Yeah, Sonic's okay. Yeah. I can see why my adopted mom hangs out with him all the time. I guess so. So anyway, who next to get the ticket? Birthday girl then. Oh my turn. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Eh, why certainly. And here we go. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday this can certainly help. And Amara Mr. Chain just sounds so excited. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should uh, have fun. Yeah. Before we move along, do you miss? Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? We unlock any door in the train. Happy birthday! Oh, she got the, the big key, okay. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We use it twice, Thank you! Okay, next, Tails. Can I get you tickets, Young? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? Uh, no, thank you. When I travel, always get my own sparkly gelatin. Sparkly jelly that can melt any jelly's heart. You're doing great so far. You spark your gelatin buddies. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, 
Ya hilang. Yeah, but at least your character from this game can. Yeah. I just get the gelatin to snipe me. Aww. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let me know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Yeah. <laughs> Holly, can I please get your ticket? Hold on, let me try and do my knuckles impression. That's all. I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. It's all squishy. Everything looks good, thank you. Enjoying your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his oh. presence put me at ease. Hmm. Do you consider me calming? He's looking right at me. Okay. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh dear. Can you cling into walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. Would that ask be up for you? Smuggins, was that answer? Oh okay. dear. Alright, let's talk to Vector now. Hello, my friends. Can I get your ticket? Oh, yeah, sure. Of course. As a gentleman of standing moral, I love to show you my tickets. <laughs> oh, Victor. Yeah, that does kind of sound like Vector, doesn't it? Hey, isn't he getting married yeah, he's... in Manila? Oh, yeah, he is. So when's the wedding? Uh, I think they haven't picked up the date still. Those two are engaged. And I bet Victor's gonna be to cream his father real soon. Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, he would. It's really good with, with cream. That reminds me, uh, is Pokemon still hanging out in your world? In the universe? Um, I guess so. I mean, he been along with cream lately. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard from him in a long time. I kind of feel like I've forgotten about him. Oh, I'm sure he doesn't forget about you, Beck. Yeah, I'm sure he will see you. I'm sure he will see you pretty soon. I hope so. But anyway, back to the subject of Vector. I'm glad that your Vector is getting married to somebody that he loves. Yeah. Happy for the skills too. Uh, Miss, I think Miss, Miss, 
could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know what it is. Are you kidding me? Actually, you lost this ticket. You're a detective and you lost your ticket? Oh, Vector. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. No, he's not. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns out. Ah, oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. We have to find so his ticket. Keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I oh. think I found it. Let's take it over the neck. Oh, I think. Say, was this someone looking for a ticket? Yep. Let's be sure to return this to his rightful owner. Yes, that's Spectre's. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Beth, why don't we show our friend here what we pick up? Right. This one, here you go. Yeah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thank you so much to you both. You're welcome. I was really worried to be kicking me out if I missed the murder mystery. Oh no, we don't oh, want that. Victor. Oh, but here you have your hands full kicking out you out. You're right, I will leave without a fight. Oh, Vector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Victor. laughs> Wait, who made you both? Microwave expert and security guard. Oh, yeah. You both are alright on my book. Then be careful to assist. Just let us know if you need anything else. Right. We gotta go so we go with Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, Mr. Edgelord. Yep. He's just like here. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. Not much of a talk. Do you sell gifts back here? Gift bags? Why would you want a gift bag? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. Oh boy. That's fair. You're so cold. Aw. Oh, Beck, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Ticket, please. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. A princess? Did she just say princess? She is a princess. If you don't mind me asking, are you listening from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Yeah. Yeah, she comes from the solar nation. Yeah, a separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I hop back to my own dimension. I still think it's unfair that they chose not to include Cream in this because Cream is close friends with Amy and Blaze, you know. I know, that's so sad. Then it I quite prefer to participate from this world more than my own. So I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho ho. Don't say it. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Oh, yes. He is so nervous. Yeah. 
Yeah, he is. <laughs> he will right, never be in front of the right. princess. Person. Now I'm a rouge. Oh dear. Well, hello. Well, hello, you two. Can I, can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your tickets? My, my, how far? Let me fetch it for you. <laughs> Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Yeah, very polite. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of, your, uh, out of my pocket. Oh, Rouge! Oh, boy. You sneaky little bastard. Rouge, really? On my birthday, you're gonna steal? Can you just not steal for once? Can I have a tiny X for that back? Hmm. This was yours. What's a slip up? Here we go. Will you always gonna steal everything? Be the best at judging character. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's wall on the murder mystery. And this is my cue to leave. I must prepare the driving compartment for departure. Time for the mystery, mystery murder birthday party to start. You remember? You remember our promise, yeah? You do everything in your power to make sure our guests will have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. So here, you have my trust. Is this train a, uh, a robot? I wonder. I wonder myself. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Oh, excellent. I'll be off. Huh. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. Don't worry about must clean up the place either. This train is state of the art and has system for dealing with at all. I guess you have everything. For everything else, click tap to bed here if you need anything. Sound good! Absolutely! Will do! Goodbye now! I like that guy. I like thank you. You all look amazing. It's just, it's just you all read the Lord card as well. Lord cards? That must be the details of their motivations. Yeah, I so. suppose it makes sense. Lord cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people wouldn't know the murder's intentions. Yeah. Okay, so they are technically just playing a pretend game of murder mystery. It's not an actual real murder mystery. Oh, yeah, it was just thank goodness. a game. <laughs> or maybe should I have said yours with starters? For that jump start. Uh, I don't know what phrase was proper for that. For that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Hi. Hi, back. Now, I'll have a nifty greedy for the murder mystery game. One of you will be murdered and the rest suspect. Oh boy. Everyone has a sign role for characters that will be playing. Participation are required for it is my birthday. Of course. Alright. But you'll make the rules. Yep, I'll make the rules. Sorry, if you are a ship captain, will you be stationed in the conductor car? Naturally, that's where the captain will go. Tails, you 
you are the detective to be here in the dining car. Oh, so Tails is the detective, huh? Interesting. Yep. I mean, he's dressed like a detective. Uh-huh. And don't leave. I can huh? definitely, definitely, hold on. I can definitely see Tails Co. wearing that cute little detective outfit. Oh, she's so adorable. Aw, thanks. I think you're making Tails Co. in that outfit back. Oh, and look at Knuckles wearing his, his hat. Knuckles, you're the chef around this park. We'll find you in the saloon. And a handsome sheriff, I see. <laughs> yeah, he is a handsome. Yes, he did. How is Knuckles doing anyway? And he's doing fine, watching the Master Emerald as always. I heard he put sticks in charge of it now. Oh boy. I hope she doesn't do anything crazy. Got it. Ruth, you are the business tycoon and Blaze, you are Titan and Industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm. Sounds fun. Doctor, you the butcher and Espio the poet. Both found in the library. That, that Shakespeare outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a poetry. Hear that, Espiel? We got to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can. Make a tower book of something? <laughs> oh. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the mouth. The locksmith? <laughs> and last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I've been moistly around with everyone. Did you get that, that all? Uh, yes. Ah, I was listening in. That's okay. More than alright, you can help ensure everyone's following their roles. And that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Map added to your inventory. The rules of the game as I follow. There is murder amongst you all. Oh boy. The murder can kill a single participant whoever they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for all to count. Oh boy, anyone else must collect evidence through this train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. Yeah, I figured that's the gist of how you play this game. It's a who done it type of thing. Yep. The murderer will lie to get out the being accused. So inspect everything you find. Find clues and interrogate. Okay. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle. And the murder can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Anyone? Be your station. Alright, here we go. Time for the murder mystery and, again. And the game begins. Ah, this is so exciting. A mystery in sudden right up. Our very noses. I know it's, it's kind of scary. I admit I'm nervous too. Oh, poor tails. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Actually, the detective and journalist can't be the murderer. Are you sure about that? There's always a twist to these type of things, you know? So we stuck here for an 
how it's before. Mm -hmm. It's always the people you least suspect that turn out to be the murderers in these cases. I guess so. So we're stuck here for now. This way, they're always a neutral party. It makes sense to me. I guess so. It's as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery on anyways. Yes, I am. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, uh, probably inspecting their station and talking amongst one another. Yeah, well, someone's going up and taking out the, bird, the victim. <laughs> Everyone has role to play, so they must be exploring their characters. <laughs> so is this kind of like a LARPing in a way? Um, I guess kind of is. If you don't know what LARPing is, it's live action role playing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so they are technically role playing. Yeah. Do you know what their character and motiv motivations are, Amy? No, the love cards are conf confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Oh, it's a birdie! Aww. My background is all I was best friend with a flicky that decided to join the Dr. Evil Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. I'm a nosy. I'm not gonna lie, this kinda sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Aww. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The train started moving. It's so fast. Grab, grab oh, into hang something. Hang on here. Hang on here. Uh, This way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. 
then we show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Okay, is this like a tutorial part of the game? Hmm, I guess so. Alright. Yeah. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our pain guests are taken care of, understood? Oh, the background. First sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once you sleep on the good juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonny was there to catch me. Almost slipped on the juice. <laughs> well, he runs so fast, I'm not surprised. Yeah, he's the fastest. We slip into an old gentleman jumping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. <laughs> oh dear. Sack. This is every clean trash bin. Oh, sawdust. Oh boy. How do I become as op optimistic as this kid? <laughs> Let's look at the book sh uh, shelf book. Bookshelf. 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 Chef could have fallen into, but I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train had too much on me. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Yeah. Yeah, probably should. Crack on the shelf. to have only been attacked to something. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I think spinning it around, so I feel like spinning it around, so I'll keep it stick with that to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Okay, only one clue, so I guess this is technically the tutorial part of the game. Yep. Let's go and turn it in. Oh boy, what? Right. I'm turning it out. To What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. Ah, uh, I'll keep looking. To say the pie, so. We believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me of my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like 
just like the two of you. Why in the world do you think I'm hiding? I don't think you were seeing really well back and I were knocked out. You attempt to escape the closet. Prove it! Show me evidence that I attempt to escape or help me search for a way out. First, find the correct piece of evidence for your inventory. Once they have been reduced, we must form an argument to fight back. is supposed to prove something, it fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no arguments here. You're grasping. Oof, okay, Dells, now what? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the press on the shelf relate to When I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Hmm. Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He always running forward, collecting rings, crunching backneck. He never loses. That is true. Yeah, he never loses. Like, like an endless running runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Oh sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do in fire argument? Something it could. Like they say. 
a hammer? Actually, the handle of your pico pico hammer. Oh, it's boy. your hammer. Uh, you broke your hammer. Uh, you attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle of your hammer snapped off, right off. Say, I tried to get us all out of with my hammer, but I fail. <laughs> I get the shell one big whack and the handle ripped right off. Really? You broke your hammer? I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. Since when do you break your hammer? Let's get out of here. Oh boy, the tiny's all wrapped up. Like this is that? I just need to rest. Oh, he, is he is he whispering? I guess so. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are you the moon from him genuine? I hear a lot of grits, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this, Laura, right? What the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic! No, 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 I can feel myself panicking. Calm down, Beck. What do I do? No. I need you to me everything in your power to make sure I you guys are taken care of. I'm a state. Oh, boy. Can you trash that? I don't know. These guys are pretty big now, which means they must be 
monthly wish. So I need to care to you back, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down. Um, this last ride. <laughs> on this guy. There's something yes. familiar about that laugh. Yes, sounds familiar. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You know, who kind of sort of laughs like that? Yeah, I wonder. I don't think it could be. Oh, I think you are thinking of that. I think it's too early to uh, jump to conclusions right now, though. Yeah. But I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I think... Should I say it out loud, or should I maybe wait? Mm, I think we should probably wait. Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. The game has officially begun. Here we go, everybody. We're starting off in the saloon. The saloon cart. Excited. Okay, I'm pretty excited. Did you need something for me? Of course. 
Oh, so not alone this night. You got me. Haha, <laughs> there. As I say, the best detective has psyche, so I'm happy to have you. Okay, so I Aww. guess I'm playing as Watson then. <laughs> yep, I guess so. If you ever catch me looking clumsy, though, just nice because, uh, where my lord part? The last guy to work in case with me teaches a practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Well, sounds to me like your buddy was brainwashed and probably turned into a bad nick. Guess so. Uh, I feel sorry for Shells' character. His little wooden buddy joined Dr. Aww. Eggman. your alibi and... Nope. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously uh, ag agita agitated, agitated about something. But why take it out on us? I better than to argue with Knuckles. So you see we are not own. What Knuckles is up to while we were all apart. Yeah, seems very suspicious, Sheriff Knuckles. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Alright, yeah, I'm not saying around that there was a, that's a really good voice impression, Knuckle, you did. Check the broken arcade 
on. Okay, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. Super Monkey Ball? Whoever built the train must be a fan of that game. Mm, I guess. Oh. Do you think if a rope when the train sped up, damages will more to be caused from punches? Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Okay. So I guess we don't have to click anymore, huh? Yeah, I guess we're telling you to. I want to click on this real quick. Decent cash report for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Elmo Shell. Hate to see them like this. to interrogate Knuckles, I guess. Okay, alright. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Please don't oh, beat yeah. me up. <laughs> no promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No, you wish you to. Sonny was murdered. Oh, I know what it is. It's the, it's the broken game. cabinet. <laughs> the arcade machine? <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? Think! Oh, think. game time. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Knuckles, 
your hair is fine. He doesn't have hair. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Hmm. What are you staring at, my hands? Knuckles, you can't destroy the arcade machine, but why? Having the hockey machine will give us our answer. How are you? On it, but just keep knuckles while I fix super monkey balls. Okay. Bring it on! Hey. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat, beat you. <laughs> I think Nucky is embarrassed. Oh, Nucky is embarrassed.
had to complete, huh? Complete. <laughs> he gave me his before he left. A key? Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. Inside of the, the book key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Bruce searching for? Them and ask them yourselves. Oh dear. More information than I suspected to get there. But it seems we can move on. Oh. I said right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Join here. Okay, I'm back. Whee! And I see Harrington says, Too bad. Can you give your friend Amy a warm hug? Of course Aww. I can. Here, Amy, I'll give you a hug. Aww, hugs. Well, she is one of my aunts after all. Yep. I'm the I'm the cool aunt. <laughs> oh yeah, it is very nice music. <laughs> it's nice music. <laughs> it's saloon music, I think, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. This is the saloon car, though. Yeah. We're too sheriff. Come on, back. Let's head to the library. I guess it does. Back! Coming! Let's move! Ready to mouse it down to the next car?
guess this is the library car. Library yep. car. Hang in there. Generous reporter Amy Rose is hot on the scoop. I'm heading down to be fabulously helpful. Alrighty, before you go, Esby, I wanted to give you your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Uh, Victor, it seems we have more guests. Well, we finally caught up with the birthday girl. Yeah, I guess so. Have you found any gleads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Uh, she knows everything's allowed to be sassy on their on her birthday. This tip is not too spicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you in quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked. You doubt the birthday girl? Yeah, she has. Yeah, the birthday girl has key. the master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Of course, it's the birthday privilege. I saw this guy before everyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's through. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. Oh boy, the detective's going to interrogate us. I'm the so I can't be the murderer. Here for a shaking palmer song right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm back to the busher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry. A recent message from poets to reader means to challenge our delicate perspective with the most rhythms of cross. Can I hear some? Oh, springs and sprockets. Sh sure. Uh... Teardrop in the spring. Can you hear me sing? la da da di 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 No, oh, Steel. <laughs> That's actually pretty oh. good. What's that? Is that it? I have more if you like. <laughs> Cherry blossom in the spring. I'm a uh, sacrifice for now, oh, thanks. <laughs> At least he's rhyming, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Beck and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy has everyone leave the tiny cart? Uh, sure, simply. We just explained to this to Amy, actually. Oh, the maps. Okay. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonny all passed through this library cart. Where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I probably picked a book of the staff and made myself comfortable. 
doctor got bored, so he left to see what knock was up in the saloon cart. Yup. Where was Ruth? We happened to see her lipstick stay on the cup on the saloon cart. Rouge come over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. Hmm. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. left, Shadow walked through the casino car. They entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has, sh why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the second car. Nagos and I were playing games. He insisted to show us up at Monk. Super monkey balls. I got engrossed by the rolling monkey action. I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lunch car when he was meant to be stationed. When Victor came back, we realized Naka locked the door to the saloon cart. We were stuck in the library car. Then when the train speed up, we were worried about the bookshelf falling on us. But we got through it alright. We set trap until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one who told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. for the comp comparison. We're just gonna peek around and we will turn with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll shove it off for you. <laughs> wow, Vector's really getting into his role as the butcher. Yeah, I guess. And if you'd like to be serenade for the port, I got you covered too. Oh, boy. Uh, Got Thank you. Ugh, I hate those things. Yeah, we're still really annoying. Anyway, let's continue. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. Yeah, they were in here the whole time. We're looking for any evidence that prove what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Vespio was actually in the library or in our meeting. Yeah. It's all task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. I really need to see this. Huh? This little child hanging there, refusing to use his swing to fly to safety because shows in the hallway is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his 
principal and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster, right? Brochures. They are travel destination ideas here, like amusement park, caverns, hotel, restaurant. Ooh! Look, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library card. The books are categorized by engineer, which are listed here. I love the good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's now the stalactite. Oh, this. Yeah, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> now, leave it. <laughs> Why is my character interested in stalactites? I have no idea. Those are the things that grow inside caves. Yeah. Nobody shares my fondness of for caves. Aww. Let's look at these books down here. So many books in the ground. I wish we had time to pick them up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge put up a lot of these out to searching for something. Oh, she was messing with the books oh. to find something? What could she be looking for? What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. Hmm. The spine are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Fun, honestly. Living a wonderful people and like shop. The food can't be beat either. Ah, oh, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia. If you've ever been there. I have actually. If you ever visit, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickles. Oh, that's a character Whoa. we haven't mentioned in a long time. Yeah, he tell you everything about the area and make one scrumptious sandwich. Scrumptious sandwich, okay. <laughs> Actually, I was at Spagonia a while back with my big sister, Angie. Oh, you are? Yeah, I didn't get to meet Professor Pickle, though, because the university was closed when we went there. Oh. She was just basically taking me throughout the streets and doing some little bit of a training. Oh dear. Yeah. But, uh, let's just see something happened and I, uh, uh I'd really rather not talk about it. It's alright. Alright, anyway, let's get back to the game. Everyone and has been everywhere, haven't 
check the trash again. It's probably empty. Again, the trash. Empty. I had to say this, but nothing there. It's an empty trash. I really thought there'd be something there. And I just said there was nothing in the trash bin. No, 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 I'm alright. I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be something here in the next trash bin we find. <laughs> Poor really dear. We just gotta stay optimistic. Right, optimistic. Got it. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. That you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? for the best. Shadow's supposed to walk through the library card before going into the saloon card. When Shadow left the library card, he locked the store on his way out. Victor and Spiel to find out what really happens. Okay, time to interrogate. What's this 
bright red book. Oh yeah, this freak in the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Eggman? Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. Recipe book? Recipe book? What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't try any books he read. It's weird this is even here. Yeah, that does seem kind of suspicious. Maybe yeah. people will just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. <laughs> well, oh dear. my creator was pretty good at cooking. Yeah, he was. Back when she had amnesia and was good. Yeah. Thank you, Harrington, for explaining that to my little brother. I'm sorry about not answering questions. I'm trying to focus on the game here. Aww. Very interesting. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yes, we talked to Espio. Fancy a poem? A poem about trains, maybe? What's this? <laughs> Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The windows show the ocean. Oh wait, that's my lotion. <laughs> really? I thought he was gonna. Uh, I thought he was gonna sing to the locomotion. Oh boy. Uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. Really huh? tells. Before getting on the train, you actually trying to bring a knife on the train? What? I'm a man of artistic tales. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. What if I hide the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Can I your oh order? boy. Oh yes, please, I'm starved. Actually I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is more important. Then why would you show the menu to me? Come on, Ben. Why would you tease him like that? I didn't mean to. And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. <laughs> Unintentionally. No, Ben. You made him a fool. I'm sorry. Come on, Ben. Smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> over, but what a close, what a cost. No. Guess now. Manual of Mirage, many features and capabilities. Doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which wouldn't have been neat. Hmm. A lock that supposedly Shaft has been placing on multiple doors of the train. Right? The train map.
Can you interrogate? Just try to interrogate somebody. Yeah. So the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validities of your alibis. They are, are here to confirm two things. Why Vector let her play games with Knuckles and if Espio really was reading in the library card. I got bored. She got huh? bored? She got bored. What? What? Hmm. I wasn't entertaining him enough. It seems Victor enjoyed being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machines in the saloon cart, so I figured I'd go check it out. library card from something then left you say you immediately start reading but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library card of course he was once it's just start reading he doesn't stop till it's done I've seen it happen it must have been a good read what was the book Israel doesn't own you that detective let the man live. What is it was embarrassing? What kind of thing do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch of what that book might be. But can you help me out? Do you think Espion was reading instructions? What argument could possibly have to support this? Read! Oh, 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 oh,
robotic arms during event they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the conductor saying the train was doing itself. So yeah. I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arm can also detect weapons or explosives be brought into the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seem like SPL is a question stack. Hit him with another one. No refunds if you'll be charged no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last one, that SHS bill can cut kick out three of these. An intelligent data processing system, it works to tandem with the conductor to ensure small travel to guests. I remember this. The train has an autopilot, but it can access its full suit of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Brain is often surprised. Oh boy. I don't know if I keep bragging about it. You clearly read the manual. This answer feels far too specific to be classes. You both have the nerve to question my body like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to sustain it by being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we'll talk. SPL, is that true? Victor was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that it can be true. And we have evidence to back it up. Back? He always puts me on the spot. He has faith. We should have a piece of evidence linked to someone who also saw us be on reading the what? Hmm. Was it the locked door? Um, can we try that? Shadow's lock. Shadow's lock? Please, pray tell. Pray tell. What is that had to do with anything? We're up, Beck. Let's get our arguments together. Wait. Okay. Oh, in the game again. Gotta get 50 rings. Huh? Natural gamer. Of course they are. 
Ezio said he saw Shadow into the library card, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentioned that Victor is coming back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Victor in the saloon cart, Espia was fully sitting reading his book for a good while at this point. That is true! Hmm. Yeah. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library cart when he left the saloon cart. Yeah, he would have had to walk back through there. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espia didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. It was a simple slip. I was just fully immersed on my books that I didn't notice Shadow. You telling me that sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, you see. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon card to lock all the doors, then at the moment, were you really in the library card at all? Yeah. Were, 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 were you in the saloon with Vector and not Why you ask me out? As you pick. Dear Beck, one thing I would love for SEO to solve. Yeah, let's see you solve the case, Mr. Detective. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my books, I didn't know Shadow passed back through the library card. Honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I act you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadows to see you reading, then how did you leave the library card? I wasn't. I didn't. The lawsuit will be torturous. Not allow such an old feeble soul to get sued. Oh dear. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Oh, that was my line to read. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh dear. All right, my fellow associate, leave it on me. What piece of evidence show Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Um, what evidence for there is?
Oh, I see. For Shadow to not see him. Where could he have been? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. was in the same spot. I feel losing my cool back there. I feel like I was scrappy despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Yeah, it's all cool. You're all alive good. Your alibi isn't the most alright, but I have no further points. Thank you for, for answering for our questions. I'm gonna crash out for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sunday, I work is it done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Yeah, we definitely need to interrogate those guys. Where's Blaze yeah. the whole time? I mean, we haven't mentioned. I mean, we haven't mentioned Blaze in the whole. Yeah. Blaze is talking about Blaze. Yeah. Hmm, anyway. Oh, it seems the door to the car is open. Amy must have kept it oh. open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cute to leave. See you later, Vectrans, Get him head. If you need any meat up, say the words. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. I keep my poetry shop for you both. Murder is seen the loose, but door keeps getting locked. Tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. <laughs> At this oh, point, dear. I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. <laughs> Come on, Beck. Let's see what's next. Coming. Okay. Save. Uh, well, I'd love to continue on to the next car, but unfortunately, I think we're going to stop there for now because I'm pretty sure we've hit the two-hour mark at this point. Yeah, we probably so. Yeah, and I've got a lot of other duties to uh, attend to right now. I've got to get back to my work at GUN and fixing those cars and stuff. I wish I had more time to play this game, but I think it's best if we stop there for now. You'll yeah, probably next time. Yeah. But hey, we still had fun, didn't we? I mean, we did have fun. I mean, we had we had gone far, though. Mm -hmm. I still have my suspicions about what's really going on on this train, but I'm going to save it until the end of the game. Yeah, we probably should. Yeah. Because there's definitely something else going on here that's not part of the, uh, the roleplay game that everybody's playing here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out the answers next time when we interrogate the the other characters. Mm-hmm. But 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this stream and celebrating my 300th video. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe to me, Cool Amy, and all of our amazing friends. And until next time, I'm back the Tinkerbot. Keep tinkering, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone! Goodbye, guys!